All right, my captains. So today we are going to talk about Dark Chasm Seely and whether you should summon for her or not. Now, before we start, if you are new here and you want to stay updated with everything new about Hunkai Impact Third, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Hunkai Impact Third. And with that being said, let's just get started. So first of all, is Starcasm Seely worth your your crystals? Well, yes. One, because she is actually a quantum type Valkyrie and as I say always, quantum type Valkyries are extremely good because of the fact that they don't have attribute advantage, uh, disadvantage against any uh, type of the types that exist in the, in the game currently. So basically that alone makes her extremely valuable and two, she is a very good uh, Valkyrie and you can get some really good damage with her. However, what is the problem with uh, Starcasm Seely? It is the fact that she is, as any other Skis user in the game, dependent of her pay to win uh, build. Especially her because of the fact that she is elemental damage dealer and unfortunately we don't have any free to play uh, skis that is elemental damage dealing uh, skis. So that is actually a very big disadvantage that she has in the game currently. Maybe in the future they are going to add some free to play uh, skis uh, that uh, allows you actually to get extra elemental damage. But for now unfortunately we don't have any. So that is actually the problem with her. You need her weapon and her stigmata. Maybe not her stigmata. You can use actually the Anna Skariak uh, stigmata set on her and it would work perfectly. Uh, but if you want actually the maximum potential, of, obviously you want her stigmatas as well. But the weapon, you are forced actually to get it in order to get anything done with her. Because without the, with, without the pay to win weapon, you aren't going to be able actually to get any good uh, damage dealt actually on the, op on the uh, enemies. Now, should you actually summon for her or not? Well, first of all, if you are actually a fan of Seelie, then by all means go on and summon for her because, like, seriously, the game is about enjoying it, not about uh, doing the right thing in it. If you enjoy using actually Seelie and you really want her, by all means summon for her. And as I said before, she is a very useful Valkyrie and she is uh, valuable because of the fact that she is actually a quantum type Valkyrie. However, if you are actually uh, into meta or you want uh, the best thing uh, the best thing possible i would recommend you actually to wait for the not the next version update but the one after it because we know our, already that the next version update is actually free to play version update so basically uh, the valkyrie that we are going to get official is actually free to play Valkyrie and you can grind her and unlike Asuka, since uh, Fischl is actually from MiHoYu, she is going to stay in the game forever. You are going to be able actually to farm for her forever, so, so you aren't going to be actually even forced to uh, to buy to, to to spend any crystals on her unless you want to to directly triple s rank her. So basically you can see that she she isn't actually pay to win in any mean other than if you want to get actually her weapon and her stigmatas. Most likely they are going to give us uh, a free to play 4 star weapon. I, ho I really hope because this is the first time we get actually a bow user in the game. So hopefully they are going to give us actually a free to play uh, 4 star weapon for her so that we can uh, use it on her. Now obviously it's not going to be as useful as her signature weapon but still it is going to be better than nothing. I really hope that they would do that. But yeah basically the next version update is, as I said before, not the one that we are going to get tomorrow, but the, the one after it is going to be free to play. So you aren't going to have to spend any crystals at all unless you want actually the stigmatas and weapon. Uh, the next one is a very interesting one. We might get actually an S rank Valkyrie in it and that S rank Valkyrie might uh, be any Valkyrie that exists actually. Uh, in the game or it might be a new one as well because there there is a, a lot of talk actually about uh, Raven becoming a playable Valkyrie in the game uh, in 5.0 so basically 
who knows we might actually get her and she would be really amazing valkyrie because she will be one a new valkyrie and two she is actually one of the most wanted valkyries in the game so basically uh, that is, that is going to be really awesome and that's why i would recommend you to wait for then and who knows there is a little bit of talk as well about harsher of fire himiko and i know how much uh, uh, the player base likes himiko actually and that's why it would be really awesome if you actually wait and see if we are going to get her now obviously there is nothing confirmed and unfortunately all of these are just theories but still man there are so many things actually that uh, that uh, hint actually towards a new himiko if not harsher of fire himiko so hopefully we are going to get something that is related to himiko and maybe uh, in the next uh, story update after the one that is focusing on um, on may and uh, raven maybe we are going to get actually some focus on himiko and then we uh, we get actually a new himiko bottle suit we will see actually what will happen but in my opinion, you should actually wait and save for the uh, version update 5.0. And by the time we reach there, if you are actually on the global server, uh, we will see some information about 5.1 as well. And that is going to allow you to think, uh, to, to actually know whether you want to spend your crystals on 5.0 or on 5.1. So until then, we will see actually what will happen. But my, my, uh, my suggestion to you is to save your chrono your crystals until actually 5.0 and then we will see what will happen then. But if you are, as I said before, a, a Sealy fan and you really want her, by all means summon for her because she do deserve she does deserve actually your crystals. She isn't bad and she is a very good damage dealer and she is actually elemental damage deal dealing Valkyrie and that is a very good uh, a very good addition to your quantum type team. So yeah basically with that being said that was everything for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too. And if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Hunkai Impact 3rd and with that being said see you as always in the next video of Hunkai Impact.